Well, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's 7 Demo 7, and today's video is going to be all about the Runcam Eagle and me doing some PID tuning on my MRM Reaper here. So, um, first off, about the Runcam Eagle. So, uh, this is one of the very few 16x9 CMOS cameras that are out there. Um, and the, one of the standout features of this camera is the ability to be able to look directly into the sun and not. Uh, get any type of artifact in the horizon as you can see in this video it really handles the light uh, characteristics very very well so better than any camera that I've ever tried um, the picture is so good it, it you're almost able to think that it's maybe a 720p image but it's uh, it's quite clear which is really really nice so uh, one thing that Runcam has come out with since I've made these videos is that they've come out with a 4.3 version. So even though um, I have the 16x9 camera, I'm not able to take full advantage of the 16x9 uh, because I have the Dominator V1 goggles, which only uh, transmit or receive in 4.3. So you're gonna, I have a bit of a squished image in my goggles, but I know uh, a lot of people that have the DOM V3s, which are the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So keep that in mind. Um, I have stretched this to make it look like a 16 by 9, so I uh, don't let that fool you. <laughs> All right, so a um, um, couple points about this camera that I really, really like is that it has the magnesium body, which is a metal body, uh, which doesn't add any weight to the camera whatsoever. Um, and the great thing about this is that in a crash, you're not going to rip the threads uh, or crack the plastic of the of the plastic body, which I have had happen on a few of my run cam um, cameras. And that wasn't the fault of run cam; it was just a super hard crash. But uh, in the event of screws pulling out or whatnot, I'd rather have the um, aluminum screws uh, strip rather than the uh, body of the camera. So once the body is stripped, then you have to kind of get a new one. So guys, as you can see, um, the color saturation isn't great with this camera, but for me, being able to see clearly is much more important than having uh, a dense color saturation. In fact, uh, the image is so great when I'm flying it that I really don't care that it's not that saturated. I have not tried to bump up the saturation on this quite yet, so um, I will do a video on that uh, in the future. But um, here I'm mainly doing some PID tuning. Uh, the PID tuning. Um, if you guys saw some of my earlier videos, uh, the flight characteristics of my previous tune would be best described as loose and <laughs> not very precise. Uh, you can tell in this video that I'm definitely enjoying the sharper P, uh, P gain and also the I gain. I definitely was way too low on those, both of those gains. Uh, but I'm finally getting the tune into about the spot where I like. I actually flew earlier today and um, changed the P gain a little bit even higher and I lowered my D gain even more. So um, I will at some point, once I get happy with my tune, I will post my PID tuning for this uh, particular copter. I am running Betaflight, uh, not 3.0 yet, but I will be going on to that. Now one feature that is a missing in this camera is the ability to add your name to the OSD screen. Uh, this is a feature that they included with the Runcam Swift. Uh, this is quite important for when you're at a, a mini quad race. Uh, when you're seeing your uh, video feed, you want to make sure that it is your video feed and not somebody else's. Um, I know a lot of people that have actually crashed because they were looking at somebody else's feed when they thought it was their own. So the ability to see your name on your screen is very, very valuable uh, to me. So uh, future improvements would be uh, that um, one ability. So guys, this is a pre-production sample that you guys are viewing right now. I don't know if they carried over that uh, ability to add your name to the OSD into the final production. So guys, if you've bought a Runcam Eagle and can comment on that, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining my video as always, and I'll see you soon. Bye.